Doctor Who Time Fracture is an immersive theatre experience that was originally announced last year in a small short teasery thing, but it was very confusing and not many people really talked about it as it was a bit out of the blue and they just announced this immersive theatre experience called Time Fracture without any explanation and we got very little information for it at the time which is pretty common for Doctor Who things nowadays. I remember when The Edge of Time was released, well, at least the first trailer, that was a short teaser trailer akin to the one they did for Time Fracture, and we got some information for it, but at least that one got talked about. This just kind of got forgotten, until very recently, when we got the complete timeline of releases for Doctor Who Time Lord Victorious, which confirms that Doctor Who Time Fracture is part of that. But we couldn't have been told that at the time, as we didn't know about Time Lord Victorious yet, so I get why we didn't get information about it, but it was still very confusing when they just announced this thing and then sort of forgot about it. But in the past few days, we have been getting these unit logs. So far, at time of recording, we've had two unit logs. We've had unit log 14683 and unit log 14682 with more set to follow later in the week, but all essentially in the same location and continuing a story which is giving us some indication of what the plot will be. We now also have the third unit field log which features the return of Kate Stewart and confirm that you will be going inside the time fracture. And recently we have actually had a synopsis for this immersive theatre experience, which reads 1940, it's the height of the Blitz, a weapon of unknown origin destroys a small corner of Mayfair and simultaneously opens a rift in space and time. For decades, Unit have fought undetected to protect the people of Earth from its dangers. Weakened and beaten back, as the fractures multiplied out of control, they're close to defeat. Earth as we know it is at stake, now it's time for you to step up and be the hero. We travel to impossible places, confronting menacing monsters and ancient aliens along the way. It's a journey across space and time to save our race and our beautiful planet. Obviously this all sounds very interesting. This links in with Time Lord Victorious somehow, but we don't really know the plot of that. We can all kind of guess it will be something to do with an alternate Tenth Doctor. But we don't really know the plot, so we don't know how this will all fit in. But nevertheless, it does sound very exciting. Another aspect of the plot that we sort of know from the unit field logs is that the cracks in time from series 5 and made a brief appearance in time of the Doctor will be making some sort of return or something very similar to them as in the unit data logs we could see that the time fracture is sort of like the cracks in time. It looks very similar, has very similar visual appearance and gets wider like the cracks in time did. Some indication of it linked to Time Lord Victorious is in the first unit filled log they recover a shoe from inside the Time Fracture, which is that of the Tenth Doctor's left shoe. But then in the second unit field log, they recover another shoe, which is the Eleventh Doctor's right shoe. Now, we don't think that the Eleventh Doctor is involved with Time Lord Victoria, so I might be wrong in thinking it is his shoe, but it looks very similar, if not the same, to his shoe. In the unit data logs in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and they are spoken in the actual data logs are some coordinates which lead to Davy's muse in Mayfair and if you remember the synopsis that I read out there is some alien object which lands or attacks somewhere in Mayfair which causes the time fracture so it's cool that they're actually researching these coordinates and getting actual coordinates in Mayfair. The two main characters in these unit data logs are Dr. Errol Courtney and Dr. Yates. Dr. Errol Courtney is most likely a reference to the late great Nicholas Courtney who played the Brigadier throughout Classic Who and has appeared once in New Who in the form of Enemy of the Bane in the Sarah Jane Adventures. The other character, Dr. Yates, is most likely a reference to the character of Mike Yates who was a unit officer in the John Pertwee era. This trailer also confirms that some of the villains that will be included in the immersive theatre experience will be Daleks, Cybermen and Time Lords. There is also in the second unit data log a reference to countermeasures where he says this is reconnaissance for countermeasures and countermeasures is the name of a group which is prominent in the Big Finish series countermeasures 
which includes the characters from Remembrance of the Daleks. At the end of the second unit data log, you can hear the word SOS being tapped out in Morse code. And that's everything I have on Doctor Who Time Fracture. Fun fact, if you watch this video and receive a pound every time I said the words immersive theatre experience or unit data log, you will be a millionaire. In the meantime, I've been Cyberman Alpha and from me for now it's goodbye.